Hey everyone, this video we're going to be talking about a do while loop. And for other programming languages, there's actually a new keyword for this. However, in Python, we're just going to use a normal loop and modify it to get the same behavior. So what does a do while loop do? It executes one time whether or not the condition is true or false. So if you're printing numbers, it'll always print that first number. And this might seem a little bit weird, like why would you want to do this? It's kind of like learning how to speed read but you're five and you don't barely even know how to read yet. This is kind of like learning the do while loop now because we're just touching on loops and we haven't done a whole lot of application. But later on, just trust me here for a bit, that you are going to want to do something one time and then if a certain condition is met, do it again. You know, for example, you're trying to log into a website, you put in your username and password one time and if it's not correct, you do it again. So that's a simple scenario, but let's just go through a normal standard while loop and show you how this works. So we say i is zero, and then we'll say while i is less than 10, we're going to print i, and then we'll increment i by one. Running this, and we get zero through nine. All right, so what if we set i to 90? Running this now, we get nothing. With a do while loop structure, we would essentially have this print 90 one time and then no more because it doesn't meet the condition. And there's two ways to do this. So the first way is you just take the body and you pretty much put it on the outside as well. So you put one here and make sure the spacing and everything is right. So it's gonna look like this. And now the, the 90 shows up at least one time and the condition is no longer met, so it stops. You could also increment i here if you want so you could say, i plus is plus equals one, and then it would increment it to 91 if you need to do the increment for every single iteration. But in this situation, it doesn't really matter. So that is one way to do it. And that's pretty much the simplest structure. However, one problem is if you have a really big body for the while loop, you might not want to duplicate all of that code. This one's really simple because we just have a print statement, so it's not a huge deal. So I'm going to teach you another structure where you don't have to do the repeating code before and within the while loop. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna say while true. So we're just gonna create a loop that goes on forever. Within this loop, we're going to print i and then increment i by one. And then we're going to check for a condition to break. So if i is greater than nine, then we're going to break out of the loop. So let's get rid of this code, and now this is our code. So running it now, and we get 90. So let's go through this step by step. We set i to 90, we print i, which comes out as 90, we increment it, which goes to 91, and then we check if it's greater than nine, which it is, and it breaks.